Hey guys, so plan for today, both Will and I are getting some materials ready to for our garden beds. We plan to make a start on building our garden beds tomorrow, so today we're just getting some things together. I am sorting some wood for the post and as you can probably hear, Will is cutting some metal for the sides. I'm going to be using some of this wood, which came from the kitchen roof. Here we go. It's all the wooden posts that were left over from the kitchen roof. Well, all the ones that weren't rotted through. This is the last animal house that I had taken down. And here is a pile of the metal which we are going to use. This will be the next pile which I cut up. We also have the roof of this little animal house and that animal house and the whole roof of this building. walls and possibly doors of this building here and then there's another building so there's still plenty of metal left should we need it here we have quite a few sheets of the old roof from the first animal house that we took down what I've done is just cut them directly in half and that will be the rough height of our raised garden beds
It's garden bed time! Garden bed! We spent a wee bit of time this morning marking out where they're going to be. Make it easier. Genius idea. Another one of my husband's great ideas. Yep. We're down this side. We're going to have seven beds all in a row. All similar size and spaced out. We'll have a good pathway in around each one so we can work at them easily. Yes. We have plenty of space so we're making sure that we leave enough room in between them. They don't need to be perfectly even or anything like that but why not try to make it a little bit even? <laughs> yeah. But it doesn't need to be perfect obviously. It doesn't. So this morning we put the four corner posts in and have put a string around them just to keep them all relatively in line and now we're going to start putting all the end posts in along the string line on both, both ends sides. on both sides and then there'll be a middle post for each bed so each bed will have six supporting posts We'll then be able to screw the metal on right round yeah. and then we can top the, the wood level with the metal. That's the plan anyway. Yeah. done a good job, a really good job. We're all looking pretty good I think. Still have we finishing pieces like these two to go on to the rest of them. They'll clamp the metal in plus protect us from the sharp edges but I need more pallets for that. But that's then ready to fill, be strong enough without the wood on.
Would you like to try an olive? I haven't tried them yet, so we'll have to see. Give it a go. Here we go. Not bad. Salty, but they've been in salt water. Salty. I think they're probably ready to jar. I think so. These are all the darker coloured olives, which we've taste tested and seem to be cured enough. No bitterness in them. And we've also got another batch of green olives, which we're going to leave for a bit longer. Does they take a bit longer? They'll take a little bit longer to cure. And then these ones we're going to get jarred up and let the flavours infuse for a week or so. And then taste test again. And taste and enjoy, hopefully. We had lots of olives and if we were on our trip. <laughs> lots. So what I'm going to do now is these were our peri peri chilli plants which are well and truly died off but we just left the chilies on them to dry and they've all shriveled up uh, so I'm just going to collect them, blend them up and then we'll just have some peri peri chilli flakes. We did do a batch of these the end of the summer of chilli flakes from these peri peri plants and they were hot man, mega hot. So we're pretty excited about this. These are of course olives from our own trees here on our own land and they don't taste disgusting at the moment. So we're going to fry them in a mix of well, this is water, vinegar and salt and this time I've used apple cider vinegar. Next time for the green olives I might try white wine vinegar. We're just going to experiment with different flavours and see what we like the taste of best but we know that the olives are good so that's a good start. The jars have been sterilised with hot water. We'll just get you down through the jars. Yep. It'll be free. Use that for your hands. I'm just dissolving the salt in the jug here with the vinegar and water. Get our olives in. them all up. Might need to take up a bit more solution. Let's see where we go. Cool. So we have some sage and some lemon from the garden, some which we're going to put in one of the jars. So we're going to have a sage, lemon oh, and a little bit of garlic. Trying to use what we've got growing. Um, and hopefully next year when we do this again, we'll have a much greater selection of herbs to pick from. And then in this little ramekin for one of the jars is garlic and chili because we like spice. So I'm going to go ahead and put the sage leaves. Garlic. this mixture just need to pick up some more mixture and then olive oil we don't get shake or anything well, i suppose we could yeah yeah shake and then we'll little glug of olive oil on the top really 
looking good. Even smelling good. The garlic and chili and all this. Beautiful. So we will give these about a week to let the flavours infuse and then we can enjoy olives. Yeah, looking forward to trying them. But they were nice by themselves, but they'll only be nicer with some flavours. Yeah. yeah. we're making a start on filling some of the garden beds that we've made so the first layer is going to be cardboard uh, we've been saving cardboard basically since we've arrived here everything yeah we've got these big boxes which were from our solar panels which are a really good size which will definitely get us a good start on lining the bottom of the beds but for now, we're just doing the really exciting job of removing all the tape from the plastic. cardboard. <laughs> Don't want plastic in our garden beds for obvious reasons. As you can see from up here, we have now lay a layer of cardboard at the base of each of the garden beds. Really nice day today. Next step is to get some wood, some logs for the bottom of them to go on top of the cardboard. Up here there are quite a few rotten logs here and here as well. Also some here, which will make good use for the garden bed. Will has a little fire going on up here to burn some of the gorse and broom that we've cleared from around the driveway. We want to keep the driveway nice and open and just trying to get on top of all our clearing while it's winter.
about one wheelbarrow fill, filled half a bed. So this could be a long process just because of the size of our beds. Unfortunately, the weather just isn't as good today as it was yesterday, to say the least. Yesterday with 21 degrees and sun, today it's been pouring rain all day. But still making progress with the garden beds. so far. Next step is adding some organic material. So what we've got is a mixture of leaves and twigs, that kind of thing. We'll show you where we're getting that from. It seems like we've got an endless supply, which is really good because we have a lot of beds to fill. We'll just pepper in. Pepper in. Um, drop the water around the way. We're just in this field here, which the whole right hand side, this whole bank here was completely covered in brambles before. Everywhere. You couldn't access it at all. But just before Christmas, we cleared it all back, leaving some of the oak trees freed. And beneath all that, there has been Lots of decaying leaves and twigs and all that good stuff. So we've raked back this little area here and you can just see the beautiful soil underneath. Very good soil. And all the leaves here will be perfect for helping fill up our garden beds. Quick and easy way to do it. garden bed so far. Total cost is zero. It's just taking so long. <laughs> Were you counting it up there? Counting it up. <laughs> zero. Zero pound, zero euro, zero pence. Free garden beds. We've made seven so far. We plan to make 14. It's quite labour intensive and it's quite a big area and they're quite big beds but pretty exciting very exciting be very good once they're all ready to plant our seedlings into 
Yeah, we're gonna have so much food. So far they've been filled with tree logs and branches. We've put, started putting leaves in the first one. The next thing will be compost and topsoil and then they'll be ready to plant in. We must say it feels really good reusing all the materials. So the metal came from the animal houses, old animal houses. The wood came from our old kitchen roof. And a lot of the, the logs at the bottom were just around the land rotting and everything else. It's just, it's all here. So it's kind of, it's great. It feels like you're clearing one area and filling another area. So it's like getting two jobs done at once. Very good. Very good feeling. So join us next week. See hopefully the finished first seven garden beds. And um, thanks for watching. Um, please subscribe if you haven't already. It's free. And yeah, we'll see you soon. Bye. Have a great week.